Hi everyone and welcome back to the R Tips series. In the last video we've been installing R together and we saw that you could make some improvements in terms of working environment using R Studio as well. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to install another set of packages that will be useful um, for the future. So one thing I have to tell you is that there's two ways you can access R packages essentially. One is using uh, a stable version and typically this will be distributed on the same network that R itself is distributed, namely CRAN, C, RAN, CRAN, CRAWL, whatever you want to call this. This stands for the Comprehensive R Archiving Network. So when you go to the, the R um, web page here, basically you see that if you want to download something, you'll need to select a CRAN mirror. Okay, we've done that last time. So the one thing I want to show you now is that there is another set of packages um, that you may also want to be using. And these are the development versions, versions of packages. So if I go to uh, the R Epidemics Consortium website, R Epidemics Consortium.org, there we go. Okay, so this is the site of Recon. If you go to projects, you'll see different pages for the different packages that we have in there. So let's have a look at one of our very first packages, which is the package called Outbreaks, which stores uh, publicly available Outbreak data, basically. Okay, so whenever you go to um, the web page of this package, you'll see that there's two ways you can install the package. The first one is to install the current stable CRAN version. Okay, so this means this is uh, a version of the package that is updated every now and then, maybe every two months, every six months, or maybe sometimes every year when packages are not changing a lot. Okay, so these are the stable versions that are meant to be reliable, but the problem is uh, you won't have the latest features, you won't have the latest bug fixes or the new additions to the package. For that, you need to install the development version. Now, there's many places where people can develop packages, but the increasingly popular platform is now called GitHub, and it's not just for our packages, basically for a lot of things. Uh, but GitHub is very well um, integrated for R packages. That is, it's very straightforward to install R packages that are on GitHub. Um, and here you can see there's a common line um, that is uh, you, that you can use to copy and paste that in R and install a package that's on GitHub. Now, is that going to work? Well, not straight away. And there's a glitch there because to be able to do this, you will have to be able to build the package from the sources, which is different from what happens when you do this on Windows. Basically, you just download a pre-compiled version of the package. You don't have any tool building to do uh, in that process. While here, you will need to, which means you need to have C compilers and other, um, other tools are used to build our packages. So you need to have all of these tool suite uh, together. So how do you get this? Well, this is called R Tools, and I click there on um, on my preferred crown in London, where you can find a link to R Tools, I believe, somewhere in there. Is that going to be it? Download R for Windows. R Tools, yeah, there we go. So here you have a link to something called R Tools, which tells you that these are tools to build R packages, right? If you don't want to start from that, you can also Google it, R tools, and you should find, yeah, right, the first link is going to be pretty much the right link that will take me to the same page as, as I would have gone elsewhere otherwise. Right, and here you see you have a bunch of different versions of R tools, so you just need to pick up the one that's compatible with your R version. I'm going to check which R version I've got. I can just check my shortcuts here it is 343 okay that's a version number so if i go back alt tab there uh it tells me that for 33x and later i'm going to be later because i'm 343 uh i need to get this version All right so i'm just going to download this version and you will see this comes with a lot of things so I've downloaded this archive here and I'm just gonna dumbly do whatever I do on Windows to install things. Click on yes and next without reading anything else until it installs something. Um, and let's see, okay, do you allow yes, of course, blindly trust our tools, right, English, and next, 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 next. 
Mm, right, looks good, looks good. Uh, you want to t keep this ticked if, if um, by, for some reason you've got another version of our tools, um, you want to make sure this option is ticked here. This will add the right uh, tools to the path so that the different tools can be found by the, the other uh, components of their software. Right, install, and now this is going to take time. So I'm going to let this run. I'm going to go out for a coffee and I'll come back when it's done. Yes, it's finished. Good, right. I took a little less than three hours, so you know, that was great just sitting there all that time. Right, okay, so it's installed a lot of things, but the good thing is you don't need to do that very often, okay? You'll just every time you'll need to change our versions, you might need to install to reinstall DevTools, but I'm not even sure of that. Right, so what? difference does it make now? Well, the difference it makes is that now you'll be able to install packages from GitHub as well. So if I go back to this, I'm going to close this one. Right. So let's pick up the, the example of outbreaks. You know, maybe there is a new data set in there that I need and it's not on the stable version of CRAN. It is on GitHub. So I'm going to need to get it from GitHub. And it tells me I can just copy paste this. This actually requires DevTools. So I'm going to need to install DevTools first. I'm going to start RStudio for that. Could use plain R for this because this is going to be very, very, very basic. Uh, but let's see. Right. Okay. So I need to first install. Mm -hmm. No. Install packages. Yeah. Good. DevTools. Right. DevTools is, is a really nice package for developing R packages, but also for installing development versions of R packages. So if you're a developer, you'll know it. Uh, but even as a user, in fact, it's, it's very useful. All right, so it's installed, it's been really fast. That's good. I can just copy paste this command line now and hopefully, fingers crossed, it should work without too much trouble. Skipping install of outbreak because, oh, it's installed already. Ah, okay, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to say enforce um, force equals true. This is because I probably actually already installed the development version um, and it's not changed since. So I'm forcing it here just for illustration purposes. And you see that it does a bunch of things. Of things. It compiles HTML help pages and there you go. It's installed and no error message. Looks like it's all gone fairly well. So. I can have a look at this. I can say library of outbreaks. Okay. And so these tells you like all the different data sets that you've got in there. If you want to know more about it, go back to, to the website page. But I could, for instance, look at these data set here and have a look at this. And yay, great. I've got a um, data set of incidents of Zika in this case. Uh, right, so it's worked. This is how you install a package from GitHub. Uh, and that's going to come in really handy whenever you want to use all the latest features or bug fixes, which you may well end up uh, doing in the future. Uh, and I think that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you next time. Bye, guys.